In this tutorial, let's learn how to create a moving average graphic. Well, see that you have sales over the year and you have monthly data. The orange here is the sales, for example, here 8K and here less than 20K. Well, this blue line here is the moving average, just the mean, the average of the past sales. And here we control how many days we calculate the mean. For example, 15 days moving average, or you can put it 20 days moving average. I mean, if you put few days, you look more like the original graphic. First, let's create the parameter time period. Click here in the arrow and the create parameter. Well, the name is time period. Let's move to integer and the current value, let's put it 10 and the range minimum 2, maximum 30 days and step size 1 and OK. Now let's create the variable moving average analysis and here create calculate field. Then the name moving average. Well, if you type here window, you will see here window average and you click, see the syntax expression, expression is the variable, name of the variable, and then start and end the days. Well, this is the code. Windows average, the sum, cumulative is sum of the sales, and the time period is the, the verb that you create before, that it goes from 2 to 30, and it, until the zero days. That means this minus here is the past days. Okay, now let's drag sales to rows, and let's drag moving average to rows. And now order date to columns and let's change here to month. And the clicking move average, right click and the dual X. Click here in the graphic, right click and let's choose synchronize X. Now let's go to time period here, right click and choose show parameter control. And here we control the parameter how it's move or less move. 